Hey guys, so I wanted to make this video and do a little bit of comparison of my Escar Hey Duke and my Escar Jaffe. And I get a lot of questions, even to the video I just posted up about my Hey Duke and, and switching out wheel sizes. I got questions about the Jaffe and it seems like more people are wanting to choose the Jaffe, maybe because it's the latest. Uh, the Geo is just ever so slightly different. It's not that extreme. It's a little bit longer, a little bit slacker, but this is the older Hey Duke. So the older Hey Duke had, um, well, it was, it was a little bit steeper with the head tube angle, but I slacked it out a little bit more when I put that uh, 130 fork. The original Hey Duke was specced with a 120 fork and I went 130 because I knew I would be switching it back and forth to the 275 and 29. So I went with the 29er fork um, which both of the, the bikes have 34, um, Fox 34 forks, but this one has a 130 and then the other one has, a, and my Jaffe has a 120 and they have that geo specced out with a 120 fork. And um, as you can see, it's, it's really nice angles. It's got a longer reach, but the stack is a little bit lower. If you look at the stack height on my Hey Duke, the stack height is higher. And I noticed that right away, the stack height felt great on my Hey Duke, and I love the Hey Duke. I've been riding the shit out of it. Uh, you guys, I ride 20, 25 times. Sometimes I think my best month, I rode 30 times in a month. So I ride almost every day. Um, missing, try only to miss two or three days out of the month. I mean, four or five days is extreme for me to miss out of a whole month. And I missed more days um, in February because I crashed, but other than that, I've been hitting the, the trails every day whenever I can. So with a 275 plus setup, of course, you're going to have heavier wheels because you're going to go with the wider rims. I mean, to make it a decent 275 plus, you have to go with plus rims. And these are, um, these are the, the tear, uh, WTB rims with the I-45 diameter, inner 45 diameter. And then on the Jaffe, I have 29er, but I even like plus 29er. And this is, a, this is meant to be a 29er plus single speed and those have 35 millimeter inner diameter um, rims with 2.8 inch tires in the front. 2.5, and this, this video should be sponsored by Terravel. That's a Terravel Coronado 2.8, Terravel Honcho in the back 2.5. On this bike, it's a Terravel Kinetovic 2.8, and on the back, it's a Terravel Cumberland um, 2.8. So, um, a lot of Terravel tire in Terravel or Escar, neither of them sponsor me. I just, uh, I guess I'm just a consumer and I'm just a fan. So anyway, if you're on the fence about the two frames, this is my advice to you. If you, if you feel like, and these both have 50 millimeter stems. So if you're gonna be the guy that's kind of in between sizes and you wanna go down on your stem and, and go with a 35 millimeter stem, you might wanna go with the Jaffe just because it already has a longer top tube and a longer effective reach. But if you're, uh, if you're, if you don't, and then you can always just do a riser bar to, to make up for the stack height. If you're um, a person that's pretty set on your ways and you like 50 millimeter stems, you're never gonna go anything smaller than that. Um, go with a Hey Duke, especially if you wanna switch out to wider wheels. You're not gonna be able to go as wide on a 29er setup on the Hey Duke, but you're gonna go extremely wide on a 275 plus, all the way up to a 275 plus with a three inch wheel, maybe even a 3.2, depending on the tire and your rim combination. I go with the widest rims I can get. If I was gonna go with a super, super wide 275 plus, I would even get 50 millimeter rims on that maybe, especially if I was gonna put the money into getting carbon rims where the weight penalty wasn't there. Um, with the Jaffe, if you're going to go with a 29er and you want to push the envelope on a 29er wide tire with a, like a 29er by 2.6 and 2.8, then you're going to go with a Jaffe because you're not going to be able to put a 29 by 2.8 in the back of the Hey Duke, but you can put that in the back of a Jaffe. So that's my advice to you. I mean, I have a particular trail set that I always ride and it's, it's very much a steep climb, 2,000 feet and seven miles. And with a single speed, I know I just grind it out and then I don't have to pedal on the way down. But if I was gonna do a lot of pedaling and, and I, would, 
I would have made up that Jaffe as a gear bike instead of a single speed, um, but I already had the Hey Duke as a gear bike, and plus I have the extra versatility. I think gear bikes, you, I mean, at 275 plus, it's probably a better, uh, better setup to be a geared bike just because of the heavier weight that you're turning with those um, wider rims and fatter tires. Um, if you're going to go with a 29er type plus, then you, you, that's a little more um, geared towards a single speed anyway, because the 29er is just a better single speed in my humble opinion. But you guys may have your comments below. Feel free to leave your comments and, and ask any questions. And please hit that thumbs up button because that helps my channel. And I'm not trying to make a living out of this, but I just, I do enjoy hearing your comments and getting those thumbs up. And who knows, maybe Escar will reach out to me and, and send me a frame or, or Terravel will send me some tires. That would be pretty cool. So here you go, one other look. If you're on the fence about the two, I would say if you wanna build something a little bit lighter and build as a single speed, definitely go with the Jaffe. If you want something a little more bomb proof and you're more for something that you can get lower and slacker or to the ground, go with the, the Hey Duke because you can, the new Hey Dukes have the 140 fork. So you're gonna be able to bomb through stuff a little bit more on a Hey Duke than you would with a Jaffe. And that's, that's just my suggestion. Um, so Jaffe for the climb, Hey Duke for the descent. That's kind of a, a fundamental, very raw look at the two opinions on those two. But like I said, feel free to leave comments and I'll talk to you guys later.